Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Cruiser Man's Inventions. What we got here is this this uh, ride on lawnmower, which I gotta fix, and we also got a spare one over there for parts. So, uh, what we're gonna do is just test out whether it can start or not. And I did have this big battery, this one here, all hooked up, and I did hear the solenoid tick. And, uh, but what I worked I think I'll just have a look. Yeah, here. Oops. Open this up. So anyway, we got, so I hooked in the battery to these terminals and I uh, cleaned up the connections and the negative one here is going straight to the chassis. And this one here, the positive, is coming around. Let's just get the big old tank out of the way. So we can see down in this big old gap. And down here, oh, they said the solenoid is playing up. This is the solenoid down here, guys. Around here. And as you turn the, the key over here, right on to this point and then you'll feel it like rip, 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 rip. well it goes tick tick so that tells me that the solenoid's okay so what i done was i tried turning the motor around okay it's nice and free yep that's cool it's got like a bit of a pump on here a filter it's getting a little bit of juice not a heck of a lot okay so it's free right now i put the battery this battery up here right oh, i know i've got two red pins on here i didn't have a black wire but this is the negative it says negative down here and I had a positive one, and I hit, so I put this on the positive one, nice and tight, and I came around, and as you can see, there's a red wire under here, see that red wire, so I put this red one to the red one, and what you're doing here is you're connecting it directly, so I direct connected it, now the outside of this is negative, so you can hit the negative terminal of this, it's supposed to be black guys, to this right okay so positive to this pin under here and then negative to the outside now if this thing doesn't work that means it's the brushes guys it's the brushes that are gone in the motor so anyway fast forward a little bit we went over to the other mower over here which is the the donor mower right <laughs> And we connected up the batteries. I'm sorry about this, guys. I haven't really got long in these vids, so I've got to fast forward these up a lot. Um, so anyway, we connected this up. We hit it to this, this starter motor, and it turned. And it turned. This motor here, as you can see, it's missing a lot of stuff. But the motor actually worked. Direct connected, right? And it started moving. It started turning. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to try and take this one off, see if the other one is exactly the same as this. And if it is, I'm going to uh, take this one off and put it on the other one. Pretty much. Because I know, look at the arrangement of this, it's way different. The tank's different in here. I'm trying to get my boom in here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you get the picture. It's kind of like, I don't know, 16, maybe 10 horsepower. Probably a bit more. I don't know what the horsepower this is. What's this one called? Pony. It's a Troy built 
seven speed transmission yeah so i'll quickly go around it it's got fat wheels at the back turf so they're probably not for highway use tubeless something or other yeah eight inch oh no they're probably not eight inch 20 by 8.00 yeah all right well they had good fats on the back we got some good little ones on the front yep i'm gonna get two goes and uh <laughs> see look at that the the mower deck is on this one ah, they want this one going and there's the mower deck no <laughs> oh, i've been hard at cleaning all the crap out of this for the last day it was absolutely coated and i gotta repaint it and put all that big belt on and stuff and see if it's any good but yeah so cool cool guys I shall see yous in the next up and coming vid. Cruiser man out, guys. Goo goo.